Well, so for pricing, I mean, it all starts with what's valuable for the customer. So because we were trying to displace their kerosene spending, we had to um, make sure that our daily rate was less than what our target customers spend on kerosene so they could actually feel those savings. But you also, when you price, you can't obviously just take the customer's needs into account. You have to take the company's needs as well. So we also needed a down payment. And that was not for the benefit of the customer. That was for the benefit of the company. Is like we would not get the proper skin in the game from the customer unless we had the down payment. But you wanted to keep that as affordable as possible, but not more, not more so. You know, it had to be something that the customers could reasonably reach. I think you never know when you have it perfectly right. You just have to be willing to kind of change it. So initially we had very different price points. We tried to be about 30% cheaper than the market. People were very concerned about the quality. They're like, you know, why, why is your meat this cheap? You know, and then at some point you're like, okay, let's increase the prices. And we did about 60% margin. The people were like, why is your meat so expensive? <laughs> So I'm like, okay, so let's find a good middle ground. So, and I think over three years, we've been able to find that middle ground. We've, we've been able to see what, you know, sort of price range people are comfortable buying things at, that they seem to have a perceived value uh, in terms of like quality, but also, you know, good value for money as well. Advice to entrepreneurs for setting their prices is you got to look at your cost-based pricing. Like, what, what is your uh, company need to deliver to make sure you pay the bank and your investors? Then there's looking at a market-based structure where you look at your comp uh, competition, see what their value proposition is, see how you can differentiate and um, try and price accordingly. Then there's looking into the customer's mind, uh, how the customers perceive the competition versus you. What is the per perceived value proposition and perceived uh, price? And again, it's it's not about your pricing. It's about the customer's perception of your pricing and the cu customer's perception of the value proposition. And that is more about uh, telling the right story, giving the right message, than actually saying, this is what my price is.